On this episode of The Wrangler, we examine our local election, plus share broadcast commentary on an issue important to teens this voting season. And we take a look at the weather with our Wrangler meteorologist. Wrangling, Wrangling in the News starts now. Good morning, Cowboys. I'm Francesca Pearl. And I'm Marty Martinez. Welcome to this episode of The Wrangler. With the 2024 election day just around the corner, many of us are paying attention to the issues on the ballot. One issue on our local ticket will affect every Gaither student. I explain more in our package on our Vote Yes to Students initiative. Tuesday, November 5th, 2024 could potentially be a big day for Hillsborough County students and teachers. Community voters will have the chance to vote yes for students and approve a millage property tax that would add $6,000 to teacher salaries. Vice Chair of the Hillsborough County School Board, Jessica Vaughn, says it's more important than ever for students to participate in local elections. You don't want to start uh, a class and then halfway through the year, unfortunately, leave your teacher because they have to move to another county again to pay the rising cost of inflation. So it's keeping the people who are important to you in your school so they can support you as students. Hillsborough students think the benefits of the millage will outweigh the cost to their parents and property taxes. I definitely think this extra money is super important for our teachers. Like I said, it's a motivator for them to stay here and it just, in the long run, it'll help all students get a better education because they're not having to jump from teacher to teacher. It seems very scary to them because every, the price of everything is going to inflate. And that can be very scary as an overarching thing. But with more knowledge, I feel that this will be a good thing. Florida is currently ranked 50th in the country for teacher salaries, which is why Hillsborough County Schools are now turning to the community for support. We have enough money at the state level where we shouldn't have to ask our local taxpayers for additional money. However, that's where we're at. And, and unfortunately, people are being able to force what they prioritize, and local communities are going to have to pay extra if they want to invest in education. The Hillsborough Millage is only a small tax, so it's a very positive thing, and it helps the community. Students say keeping their teachers matter, which is why they want their peers to vote yes this election day. They should support the upcoming election because it directly involves them. This is important for their education and for others education. Younger people that can't really do anything about it, I think they should also participate but in a different way by promoting on social media and spreading awareness. We're all one team and it's uh, you know, Hillsborough together. For The Wrangler, I'm Maddie Martinez reporting. More money for teachers would really help our county. I agree, it would really help our school. Another issue teens are focused on this election cycle relates to proposed plans for Florida's protected parks. Our Wrangler reporter John Carlo Lentz provides his commentary on the plan. Will the great initiative turn Florida into one giant country club? The Florida Department of Environmental Protection announced its plan for the next fiscal year, which will turn parts of state protected parks into tourist amenities. The plan designed to bring more people to state parks has teens concerned. Shortly after the plan was announced, teens began voicing their concerns on social media and in person. Some gathered on Honeymoon Island Beach, one of two Tampa locations targeted by the order. Teens who oppose the plan demand that Florida focuses on preserving its protected land that is home to thousands of species of wildlife. Following the concerns of Florida residents, Governor Ron DeSantis said the plan would be going back to the drawing board. But as of today, no changes to the original plan have been announced. If I had to say, Florida would not build over its protected land. It would be destroying the homes of our wildlife and the landscape that is the main draw to tourists. This also means that anyone wanting to experience these outdoors experiences would need to spend thousands on hotel rooms or country club fees, something that would send us teens back into our homes and back on screens. And while the future of the initiative is still up for debate, teens have made it clear, save our state parks. For The Wrangler, I'm John Carl Lentz reporting. State parks are really special in Florida. I agree, it wouldn't be the same without them. With the end of October here, Florida finally sees fall weather return this weekend. Our Wrangler meteorologist, Leah, tells us what to expect. Howdy, Cowboys. I'm Wrangler meteorologist, Leah Haloka. Cooler temperatures arrive to Tampa Bay this week and weekend. This morning, our area sees a low of 62 degrees, so hopefully you brought a sweater with you today. While we will warm up later this afternoon to 88 degrees, thunderstorms are expected to roll in with the change. Winds will be sustained 9 miles per hour, and skies will remain cloudy all day. 
Saturday and Sunday, the Bay Area continues to see cooler temperatures for most of the day, with a low of 65 on Saturday. It will warm up throughout the day with a high of 85 degrees in the afternoon. Skies will remain partly cloudy all day. So, if you want to plan an outdoor activity for the weekend, Saturday will likely be your best bet. No precipitation is expected in our viewing area. On Sunday, cooler mornings continue with a low of 61 degrees. Our temperatures will gradually warm up with a high of 86 degrees by 3 p.m. Skies will be cloudy throughout the day with sustained winds at 11 miles per hour. There are expected rainstorms for the area sometime in the afternoon through evening. This means if you want to do something outside on Sunday, make sure it's before 2 p.m. I'll be back next week with more updates on your weather forecasts. Until then, I'm Leah Holoka, The Wrangler. I'm so excited for the colder weather. Me too. I'm really excited to wear my sweaters. Well, that's it for this episode of The Wrangler. I'm Francesca Pearl. And I'm Mandy Martinez. See you soon, Cowboys.